Hello and welcome to the latest video on the Creator Studio. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can post directly from your desktop to your IGTV account through the new Creator Studio. So my name is Anita and I'm a digital strategist, but I specialize in helping you understand how to use Facebook and Instagram to promote and grow your following across both Facebook and Instagram. So don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and let's jump in and show you how you can post directly from your desktop to your IGTV account. So I'm sharing my screen here and in the Creator Studio you have two tabs. You have the Facebook tab and then you also have the Instagram tab which is where I was just now. Make sure that you're on the Instagram tab and that you're working in your own account. If you're using more than one account it will show this down here as a drop down. Then the next thing you need to do is you just go ahead and create post. It will ask you to choose Instagram feed or IGTV. So for this video, we're going to be posting direct to my IGTV account. Once you've clicked that, it will give you some options. So the best thing to do is to upload your file. You can upload that from your computer or you can choose a file from your page content. But remember, there are strict guidelines for posting to IGTV through the Creator Studio. So I'm going to um, upload from my computer. When you're uploading to IGTV, if you're not sure of the IGT video requirements, you can just click that button there and it will open up a new window and it will let you know what the IGTV video requirements are. So the upload requirements is um, videos must be at least one minute long. The maximum length of your video can be 15 minutes when uploading from your mobile device, 60 minutes when uploading from the web. Now that is if you have more than 10,000 followers. If you have less than 10,000 followers, then it's a 10 minute maximum upload. File type has to be an MP4 file. The ratio has to be nine by 16 if you're using portrait and 16 by nine if you're using horizontal. Just a word of warning, at the moment, I'm unable to upload a horizontal video to my IGTV through my Creator Studio. So I'm only uploading my portrait videos via this method. Then you get the option down the bottom here to add your cover image. Now, once you've done this, you can't go back and change it. Now, it also gives you the option to share it to your feed. So if you want to bring your post from your IGTV into your Instagram feed, then you can tick that, bo that button here to share a preview on your feed. Now, if you are going to do that, bear in mind that your feed is a square grid. And if you are going to be posting your IGTV video into that square grid, then you need to make it aesthetically pleasing to your nine square ideals. So to choose the thumbnail, you can choose from within the actual video itself, or you can upload one yourself. So if you want to upload one, which is what I'm going to do, you click upload custom image. And then I created one earlier on here to go in its place. So then you click open and the Creator Studio will pull it up for you. So the first thing you need to do is add a title to your video. This is going to show up at the top of your IGTV video and also be the first line of your Instagram post if you do share it to your feed. Okay, so I've added add a swipe up link to your Facebook stories and then you can put your description. Then you can actually put your hashtags in here as well for search. So I'm just going to put a couple. You can have up to 30 because this is going to be shown in your feed as well if you want it to. And also inside the description of your IGTV, you can put a clickable link in here. So when people look at your IGT video on IGTV, the link is clickable. But when they look at it, the first 60 seconds of it in the feed, the link isn't clickable. So once you're happy and you've done your title, you've done your description, you've got your cover, properly done. It also gives you the option to post it to your Facebook page if you want to. I'm not going to tick that at the moment either. And I'm also not going to share it to my grid because I don't want it to um, mess up my nine square grid at the moment because I'm doing a little bit of a different strategy. And you can learn about that strategy in a coming video. So I'm going to unclick that. It's 100% uploaded so then all you have to do is click publish if however you want to schedule it for later you do have the option to schedule your post to IGTV via your desktop and the creator studio and you can also save it as draft but I'm going to go ahead and post publish now so we're going to post publish and the creator studio will automatically post that video to your Instagram's IGTV account so 
Check back in a second and I'll share my phone with you and we can have a look at the IGTV video on my phone. Okay, so before we go to my phone, I'm just gonna show you how you can get to it on your IGTV account. So you just click on your IGTV here and as you can see, my new video is here, all ready to be viewed. Okay, so to access your IGTV on your phone, you just have to click the IGTV button and then we'll be able to see my IGTV account. So just go to search and then just type in your own name and then you'll be able to see the video that I just posted direct from the Creator Studio and that will play up here. And then obviously at the top, if you click that, you'll get the description with the um, hashtags and everything associated that you put into there and the title is the bit at the top. You can also access it directly from your Instagram account by clicking the Instagram icon on the home page. So you just go to Instagram there and then IGTV is shown up there. So I hope you found that video helpful and um, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and I will see you soon.